Hey, buddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Gorgo in the Culture Victory speedrun uh, series. So basically, we're trying to win a culture victory as fast as inhumanly possible. We're making okay progress. These guys aren't making too much uh, too much culture per turn, and uh, we've had a really good start that I kind of messed up a little bit. But I'm going to play it out because I want to show that, like, even if you mess things up, you can still get a really, really, really good run. Um, I've not been caring about certain things. You, I'm just going to send these guys on auto explore now. I've discovered all of the information that I need them to discover, which is uh, all the civs in the game, a bunch of tribal villages, all that sort of stuff. So I don't really care what these guys get up to now. They've served their purpose. So I'm not going to waste any more mental brain power on them. There are small optimizations I could do and like how I explore the land. But I'm just going to try to focus on managing my internal empire. We're working on the government plaza. Our first Acropolis is about to finish. Our second one is on the way. We've got another settler coming. And uh, things are looking up. We are going to get a Golden Age next era, which is nice, but not ideal. It's it's not ideal. I, I definitely feel like I could have earned this Golden Age. All right, there's the Acropolis. We get another era score boost. And uh, we want to immediately work on the amphitheater, getting these out as fast as possible. We could even purchase it if we wanted to. But I don't think that's necessary. We have an envoy. I'd like to get Sue's Ranity of anyone purely for one reason. And that is so that we can earn diplomatic favor to sell to the AI. Um, okay. These cities are built properly. Mathematics has been boosted. We're going to settle right here. Awesome. We get some more era score. We completed the government plaza. We have two turns to mess around. I'm going to put a couple of turns into the watermill because that'll further give the city the ability to grow and produce. And we need the city to hit its, uh... Well, actually, what I could do is I could purchase the watermill. And then put a couple turns into a builder. Well, no, it's probably better to put a couple turns into a settler. And by purchasing the watermill, we made these tiles even stronger, so the city is going to grow even more. The faster the city grows, the better. We're going to immediately get to work on an Acropolis right here. I'm going to use up the Tundra Hill. Immediately getting to work on the uh, Amphitheater over here. We are now going to promote Pingala. We need to start promoting Pingala. And I'm going to park him in Corinth, which is a reasonably uh, good city for growth and stuff like that. Definitely want to work that. Maybe this kind of a layout so that the city grows up to pop four in a reasonable amount of time. It will delay the amphitheater a bit, but that'll get sped up again once the city grows again. So I think that's okay to do. We have another envoy. We're going to hold on to this one until we can get friendship with people. Uh, it might be worth it to actually pop a point into Brussels and Buenos Aires so that we can build our wonders a little bit quicker. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do that for that explicit purpose. I probably should have waited until I was plugging in the Envoy, counts as two. That's a mistake. Another mistake, small, again, these little sub-opt, these um, sub-optimal moves that I'm making, I'm making them so that in future runs, I don't make them, right? So I can learn from my mistakes. That's why we're doing this run. This is an exploratory run. I've been I've been enamored by the idea of attempting speed runs. Um, although, you know, I'm not very good at them, granted. Man, if I had hit that Golden Age, I would have been chain purchasing builders, chain purchasing settlers. I would just be filling up this land with my with my cities. Hey, there's Autocracy. And I think we're going to pick up Autocracy here for the production towards Wonders, because we're going to be building a lot of Wonders. We also want the plus one yields to each government building and palace in the city. I'm going to plug that in for now. And then we're going to plug in Core V. And that is everything that we want. For now. We don't need the, the Apadana isn't something we need to rush. But what I could do is plug in Ancestral Hall. Chop there. Get that done faster. Purchase a builder. And that'll give us a step in the direction that we want. 
Again, Acropolis. Right there. There. There, 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 there. There. 14 turns. We're working on Acropolis is everywhere. I did not mean to click that option. He wants to buy this. I don't want your iron. I just want your money. How would you like to buy my citrus? He'll give me 15 gold. Excellent. I'm also going to sell my luxuries to him so that he doesn't get upset at me anymore. Go ahead and declare friendships. Ideally, we want friendships so that we can get alliances later, which will give us more diplomatic favor. Okay. You already have that. I'm going to sell you 20 horses. You'll give me five gold. That's not terrible. Let's make a deal. How would you like to buy my spices? You will. How about two diplo favor as well? And two horses. There we go. So now we're making really good gold per turn. We have a builder here. Um, we don't need this pin anymore. An unfortunate thing, but we will finish Ancestral Hall and we'll get this builder position to do some improving. In fact, I'm going to chain purchase builders here. So I can have them in position to quickly chop things out. It's like the woods and rainforest, the world is wet. So you'll struggle otherwise. Temple of Artemis is over there. Is engineering. And we'll trade with Antananarivo. For the extra envoy. Got two builders now in position. For when we want to chop out the great library in the Apadana. Just want to get the ancestral hall up first. Not too far away from our first amphitheater. Waiting, waiting. Okay. Can you just go back to auto exploring for me? There you go. There's the ancestral hall. Let's get to work on the Apadana. Click. And now chop and chop. We'll speed that up. Amphitheater. Promote. For connoisseur. Send Envoy. Uh, would be a good idea. Since we're not building settlers. To plug in. Out this card. And then plug in. The uh, first Envoy you send. Card. And then send that to Brussels. And that will give us an extra two production in here. You can see we're getting plus six production now from being able to have relationships with all the city-states in the game, which is a huge part of this strategy because now we can build wonders quicker. Okay, let's do mutual open borders with you. I want some of your money. How would you like some of my... Uh, I'll sell my diplomatic favor next turn. Let's have a look. Who is paying premium on Diplo favor? Basically, you sell them one and you see if they give you more than one gold per turn, they're paying premium. You're not paying premium. You're not paying premium. Well, let me see here. Probably easier to do this. You're paying. You're not paying premium. Somebody, usually somebody is paying premium. Looks like none of the saves in this game are paying premium. Which kind of sucks. Um, so I'll take what I can get for my luxury, for my favor and my strategics. Nine gold per turn. Not ideal, but it's enough. More builders. I will put those mines back down purely so the city has something to work. We have a friendship with these guys. Let's go ahead and renew our friendships. And let's make sure that we have open borders with everyone. <laughs> open borders with you. Open borders with you. This is often a good way to extract a little bit of cash out of the AI. Is to get an open borders policy with them. And then get them to pay you. 
All right, so over here, we've built the Acropolis. We're going to get to work on the amphitheater straight away. We have another envoy in the bank. I'm going to send this one. Who can I get suzerainty of? Brussels, if I wanted to. 15% production towards wonders. Don't yeah, mind if I do. That'll also reveal the Pamakale and give me more Golden Age points. There's Brussels under my wing. It'll also speed up how quickly we can build these wonders, so that works out really nicely. Um, head there. Three turns shaved off. I might just wait until we can start building the Everything thing. I've lived through some terrible things in my Campus life. adjacency, so we can, we can start the Great Library as soon as we finish this. Ah, uh, Hungary built the Great Library. Damn. Uh, that sucks. It's actually quite rare for the AI to do that. It's not the end of the world, but it is a pain in the ass. My so we're going to finish the Apadana. And unfortunately, we're going to miss out on two great rider slots in our capital. That kind of sucks, um, but it, you know, it is what it is. We have to live with it. And we're just going to start building settlers here. Um, we'll have chops available. Let's purchase another builder. I want to chop out all the units that we can. I'm going to send you over to Corinth. Send you up here to try and deal with that. And now... Feudalism is a good pickup here. Because it gives us extra builder action. So we're going to work towards that. We have another envoy to play with. Let's pick up Suzerainty of Nan Madal, I think. That'll give me more diplomatic favor that we can sell. And that's, that's our goal. We want that diplo favor. We also want to settle as many cities as possible. We're going to settle on the olives. Once the city hits 7 pop, we will be building a theater square, though. It was the wrong city. I thought I was chopping in a different city. It happens. It's not the end of the world. Prepare those tiles. Another envoy, another day. Let's go ahead and send this to Geneva, Hattusa. Yes, Hattusa would be good for the extra strategic. So let's go ahead and sell off our resources now. Um, Nubia is already broke because I've been selling her all my stuff, which is exactly what we want. We want the AI to be broke uh, emotionally and financially. You're only giving me one gold per turn for that. That's not really enough. What about for all this Diplo favor? You will give me nine gold per turn for that. Excellent. I think actually the Aztecs, you pay okay for strategics, right? One gold. It's, it's not much, right? But it's a way to convert this useless resource into a useful resource, which is gold. About to finish our first amphitheater, which is a big deal. If bread is the first necessity of because now... We can Faith Purchase a Great Rider. And I'm, I am going to be Faith Purchasing Great Riders just to get them sooner. Because I have no other use of my Faith this era. Um, okay, so what do I do in this city now? Jebel Barkal is actually not a terrible wonder. It takes a very long time to come online, however, is the problem. Alternatively, I could just work Theatre Square Festivals, right? Get more riders out faster. So I think that's what we're going to opt to do. That's going to take a very long time to build in here. So I'm probably just going to work theater square festivals and then purchase a amphitheater in here. We have an envoy in the bank. Let's send it to Muscat. And now we want to look for the card. There's a card in here somewhere. This one. I want this envo gold from each envoy. That's going to give us more gold. Put that farm there. Is the Create form. the great work. Move it to Sparta. The Apadana. Okay. About to finish another amphitheater. 
Uh, you would. You would sweep in and cause me that problem, wouldn't you? Working on the next Great Rider, excellent. I don't have masonry, eh? Let's pick up masonry and head towards printing. Uh, for sure, let's purchase that tile. The tile is incredible. Amphitheater. Man, I really want a campus in here. How fast could I build it? Ten turns? I need it. I need the science. Without the great library, I'm going to be missing some of my science, which is going to delay how quickly I can get to printing. I will put a farm triangle there, though. We'll wait for that harvest available. And uh, we're continuing to work on things. So our goal right now, our main goal is to get to feudalism, then get to medieval fairs and exploration and then get to printing and that's just like our technological goals our overall goal is to just get as many great riders as possible as fast as possible so that's why we're chopping that's why we're doing all this other stuff um i'm actually going to take this tile and put you there send you up to the olives the tribal village up there let's get the hoplite on that attack there for a little bit of a. Uh, Bonuses. All right, we're working on the government plaza. Excellent. And I'm gonna chop fix that and quickly get a library in here because we just need more science. We're a little bit light on science. You're hanging out for the harvest. I don't want your iron. I want your gold. You're not really giving enough gold, but I'll take it. I don't want your iron. I just want your gold. There's masonry. Uh, let's go ahead and heal there. Wrong city. Damn it, I thought you were owned by Sparta. These are like small suboptimal mistakes that I'm making that are going to have a relatively big impact on the outcome of the game. I definitely need more builders in here, though. Go here and settle. Improve that and quickly sell it to an AI. We'll get a friendship with you. Now, the other thing that we really, really want, aside from feudalism, is civil service for alliances, for diplomatic favors, so that we can sell that to the AI. You want an Acropolis, an Acropolis you shall get. Okay, we built a mine there. Do you need that tile? Not really. Capital needs that tile. More than you. You can work these other great tiles that you have. Okay, so this will be the science we need to get up to riding a little bit sooner. Can't quite purchase another one of these. Golden Age in two turns. I'm going to hold on to my money until then. My faith, rather. So that we can start uh, pooping out settlers. You've got one turn to hold on. So let's grab an archer. You're running away. Coming up this way. I'm trying to kill these guys. And you got the campus. Work on the library for that little bit of extra science, although it's only two techs left. It's still, it'll still be relevant, I think, in speeding it up. So we'll go ahead and do it. Yikers. So medieval era, we're going to take monumentality. Man, if I'd got the, if I'd got this, if I'd got this like last era, I could already be on the way to winning. Um, unfortunately, it just didn't work out that way. There's monumentality. You've placed your two districts. Builder. Builder. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. I forgot to plug in the card. No! I do this all the time. I forget to plug in the serfdom card. Damn it. It's a big mistake. I just missed out on... Six build charges. Not the end of the world, but... It is a grave, grave error. And now we're going to try and basically harvest the entire world... Um, to win faster. Turn it into faith, and then turn that into more harvesting and settlers. Um, theater square? Whatever, industrial city-state. I don't care. The theater square isn't going to pass. It would be really, really nice if it did. But the AI tends to vote for... Uh, City center. Man, if I had been able to put one extra vote in there, I would have actually passed that. Another great rider. Create the great work. Move it out. Another one of those. Um, get an archer real quick to help deal with that. Battle cry. Pyramids. Okay, let's try it. Let's try pyramids in here. Yeah, I like it. Probably should now queue up the amphitheater, although I should finish the Theater Square Festival first. We want the faith from this, so we're, we're going to harvest everything on the map that we can to turn it into faith. Then we purchase more settlers, more builders, and we use all that to harvest even more. And we try to build a positive feedback loop where we just get insane amounts of everything. For a friend with an okay, nice. Promote you. Go ahead and teleport Pingala into the capital. Um, now, where does Magnus want to go? Magnus actually would be very welcome in Athens. Quite a few harvests in the area. Get your Acropolis up now as well. We have an Envoy. I'm going to take Suzerainty of... Atusa, I think. More Era score. And over here, look for more stuff to chop. Delete that pin. There's a forest here you can go chop. Five turns off that. If we get the pyramids, that would actually further accelerate our, our wind condition. I will sell you my money, though. Or sell... I'll buy your money for my horses. Okay, there's machinery. We're a step closer. There's civil service. We can start getting alliances. Let's move you to the east here. And go ahead and take thrust to make you better at defending. We're going to choose our civic over here. I think... We want to pick up Medieval Fairs, and then we're going to head over to Exploration. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, I could get a Crossbowman here. I think I'm going to avoid getting the Crossbowman for now. I'm going to harvest this Sheep Tile. Boom. Now that city is stronger. And then we're going to head over to Harvest That. You're going to chop that to speed up how quickly we get printing. And then we're going to go ahead and work on the Monument in that city. Now... Uh, we are going to head down to the Theatre Square Festival. Okay, so we're going to head down here to chop the woods. And that will hopefully get us a little bit closer to the pyramids. Only eight turns on that one. Of course, there is a scout here being annoying. 
and we're going to go ahead and chop the amphitheater out here and then immediately go straight down to working on theater square festivals because we just need to get out as many of these great writers as possible so let's take a moment here now that we've unlocked the ability to make alliances we're going to talk to montezuma we're going to get open borders with him first the reason we get the open borders with him first is it allows us to extract extra value out of getting the alliance with him um sorry excuse me guilds oh wait uh hello why can't i make an alliance with montezuma that is very confusing So I'm going to go ahead and get an economic alliance. The only alliance I'm going to avoid is the cultural alliance because I don't want to do anything that gives the AI a boost towards its, tur uh, its culture generation. You'll give me two diplomatic favor with this alliance. Excellent. Then with Matthias, I'm going to talk to Dido. Let's get a religious alliance. You'll give me a little bit of gold. Maybe you'll give me two diplo favor. Okay, and then with Poundmaker, let's go ahead and get a Research Alliance. And then with Matthias, we'll get a Military Alliance. And the, Ali the Aztecs are so far away, I could probably justify getting a Cultural Alliance with them, but they I don't seem to have the button for getting an Alliance with them. Wait, did I not... wait. Was I building an archer in here? Oh, I was. Uh, that's a mistake. Let's just go ahead and do Theater Square Festivals. Need him to go away. I'm going to run you up to where the chopping is. Get ourselves a settler in the capital. Because they can take the loss of population. Other cities cannot. Fortify you there. No, you need to run away. That guy hurts. Alright, let's have a look. Do we want to improve tiles or do we want to harvest? Probably a good idea to improve. Here we want to harvest. want to make sure that this is owned by Athens, though. You're going to wait for that. Let's unlock these tiles, so in case there's better ones, but I will put a mine here. Closer and closer to the pyramids, which is exactly what we want. I will spend the gold here. Alright, we've got a bit of resources banked up. Let's go ahead and talk to the AI. See if we can sell these off. 20 horses, you'll give me 3 gold per turn, that's not bad. Go ahead and sell you 10 Diplo Favor as well. You'll give me 7 gold. 7 gold is pretty acceptable. You have no money. And thank you. Okay. We sold off some of the resources. And we'll build them up slowly. Okay, we got an Acropolis in here. Of course, we want to work on the Amphitheater. We have a Settler. We definitely want to settle up around here, but it's a little bit of a... Uh, Chaotic proposal at the moment. Let's have a look. Okay, I think there is two cities up here. We want to settle near a hill. If I settle there, if I settle here, I can aqueduct. Okay. Or Acropolis. So head there. And see, where have I got chops? Well, definitely down here. Unfortunately, I just don't have the units in the area to help fight that. Uh, let's head in over here. We can chop in the capital. You're going to back up and run away. You're waiting there. You're waiting for Magnus to be established so we can start chopping like crazy. I might purchase another builder next turn. Uh, to get this chopping going. Go ahead and purchase a builder in here. There's probably a few chops around. More faith.
Okay, we're finishing things. Great riders are taking a while. A couple turns. Lofty How are we looking? We're actually not top tourism yet. This is actually... I thought this was going to be a very strong run, but it might actually end up being a very weak run. Which is kind of disappointing because we had such a good start. I think I missed... I think I made some misplays, right? But that, that's part of the process of, of learning a build, right? Of, of figuring this out. And this build won't work anymore, so I figured it would be a good time to do it. Um, I spotted a guy uh, who kind of came up with some of these strategies. I thought, what the hell, we'll give it a go. We want to pick up Medieval Fairs and then Exploration. Wait, why did I unlock guilds for the Governor title? That's right, because I thought it was Civil Service. Because I was confused because I wasn't able to get an alliance with the Aztecs. Let's go ahead and grab Curator. Head there. Head there. Might be a good idea to improve that. Magnus is now established. Make sure we start purchasing all the stuff that we need. Faith, right there. Faith and production. The entire objective is to just completely strip the land of all resources to generate faith and stuff. Make a settler next turn. I'm going to head you over here to Fogbust. I don't want your niter. I will take your gold. Hopefully your fortification will defend you enough. Another one of those are finished. Amphitheater done in here. Theater Square Festival. Fight that guy. Fog bust. Force and growth to get the extra faith. Head there. Cross the river. Purchase that tile. Chop. The There's the pyramids. pyramids. Another excellent source of tur um, tourism, but also extra build charges, which is always welcome. Head in here. Faith purchase another settler. Um, probably want to do that in Athens, actually, now hindsight 2020, but uh, it is what it is. Let's head there to chop there. You're hanging out there. And so we have the pyramids now. I could get the Jebel Barkal as well. Um, it's probably a bit late for that. So let's just do Theater Square Festivals, because we need to fill up these great work slots. That's like the big thing right now. Good job. There's a great rider. Move this into Corinth. One, two, three. Head up that way. And More great works. And that's it. We're just, just going to be doing Theater Square Festivals because we're trying to rush down the culture. We're up to 39 culture per turn. Not amazing, but we already have... He already has three tourists. What in the name of God? This, this is a late ramp up, but mm, should be fine. Hill movement. Head there. Chop. Converting our gold into faith and then our faith into cities. More theater square festivals. You've got three charges. Alrighty. And keep harvesting. Another settler. Another Acropolis. People. There's Medieval Fairs. We are going to plug in that card. We're going to take out this card. We're going to switch to Classical Republic now. We're going to take this out. We're going to plug this in. We are going to plug in Merchant Confederation. We are going to plug in 
Um, the I didn't get any trade routes this this run. I didn't have time to ever build them. I'm trying to think what would be a good thing to plug in. I mean, theater square. Things aren't bad. Hmm. I don't have a lot of really good things. I may as well plug in Caravansary because that's a little bit of gold. And God King because that's a little bit of golden, golden faith. And we'll kind of make an address and have a look at that, what we can do next time. Yeah, I'm kind of playing this one a little bit sloppy, I would say. Again, uh, you know, I think I think we are making good progress. We should already have our first tourist. No, not quite. Yeah, I think I'm lacking the trade routes is the big problem here. Which is uh, maybe a mistake on my part. We can get a commercial hub pretty quick in here. What about in here? Can't get one there. Can't get one there. Could get one here. Reasonable amount of time. So we shall see. I'll get a skirmisher here to maybe help fight. And then I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.